But if I'm sleeping, then this is more nightmare. Lovely day for it. Unfortunately, the bridge is not open at this time. It was working just a minute ago, but the door is broken again. You'll have to wait until it's up again. Do you ever let anybody in? Oh, yes. There's someone in there now. And in the past month? Well, in the past month. Ah! There's a chap in there right now. You don't really want anyone back from the Garden District, do you? Well, my wastrel friend. No one goes off their joy can actually take joy. I mean, would you? Everybody feels better if that door stays broken. You, us, everybody. Well, Constable Wright, I suppose now I can tell Central why the bridge keeps breaking down. Central? Ever seen one of these? Oh, bugger me. You're not some sort of undercover bridge inspector. This device detects structural irregularities using shortwave radar. But I don't think it will show me the real problem. Will it, Constable Wright? Look, sir, you can fix that door, but them wastrels still ain't gonna take that joy. It makes them see eyes everywhere. That's not for you to decide, is it? No, sir. The, the, the maintenance hatch is that way, sir. I, I, I'd be grateful if you forgot this conversation ever, ever happened. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Oh, bugger. If I really was from Central, I'd have the card, wouldn't I? There is another way, though, isn't there? Please take a number and sit down. There's nobody else here. Please take a number and sit down. Number two. Now serving number two. Welcome to the Rehabilitation Centre. Actually, I'm just a sort of undercover bridge inspector from Central. See this device? Uh, it detects structural... It... Then you should have no trouble passing the test, should you? Please head through the door there and begin your rehabilitation. belongings into this box, retaining only your clothes. Please continue to the decontamination room. clothes. Don't worry, you will be provided with new, proper clothes after decontamination.
Judging. Don't you look wonderful? Please proceed to the next room. In case there is any residual odor of the garden district on you, please enjoy this refreshing scent of country flowers. Is that licorice? Why licorice? Get ready for the most important moment in your rehabilitation. Please take your favorite flavor of joy. Vanilla, chocolate, or strawberry. I must insist that you not traverse the beams of the joy detector without taking your joy, sir. Oh, damn it! They were serious about taking my joy, weren't they? Lovely day for it. Lovely day for it. Clear up soon, I imagine. Righto. Snug as a bug on a drug. Please head into the theatre and take a seat. And now it's time for the Uncle Jack Etiquette Minute. You may be wondering, how can I fit in better in Hamlin Village? Well, it's easy. To get along, go along. If someone tells you it's a lovely day, agree with them. <laughs> because of course, it's always a lovely day in Hamlin Village. So don't be afraid of talking to people first. They'll appreciate it. Now, I'm assuming, of course, that you're decently dressed. Huh? Clothes make the man, eh? Indeed, naked people have almost no influence at all in society. <laughs> and don't dress in rags either, or people might think you're a wastrel. Now, what should you do if people are staring at you? 
Maybe they're asking you if you remember to take your joy. Who cares? Just pop another and they'll congratulate you and go on about their day. And if things seem to be getting a bit hectic, remember, you can always sit on a bench, relax and open the Hamlin or Quran. Take a load off. No one will bother you when you're sitting on a bench. Unless you've made them very angry. Well, <laughs> or, I don't know, watch Jack Worthing on television. I, he's very good. <laughs> well, I'm afraid we've come to the end of our time. Tune in tomorrow for another Etiquette Minute with Jack Worthing. That's me. Isn't Uncle Jack wonderful? Now, please proceed to the third floor, where you will be tested on what you've just relearned. Just a friendly reminder. Uncle Jack don't mention it, but a word to the wise. Proper decent people don't like people what is running, jumping, crouching, spying, sneaking, breaking or entering. Such like behaviours is what we associate with downers. Avoid them and we shan't have disagreements. to help.
help you. If you've forgotten your joy, doctors will smell it right away. And they'll give you a quick injection to make your day a lovely one. Dr. Byron, what is your question? What happens when you take too much joy? A. You can't find your own house. B. Who cares? C. Please, God, make them stop staring. That's right. Clear one. It hardly matters. You might lose a few hours, but you can always come back for a seventh try. And that concludes this episode of Oh Behave. I hope you made it to the village. If you didn't, remember, we're always happy to give you another shot if you're willing to behave like a decent citizen. Of course we are. Here in Hamlin Village, we're always... It's time to play Oh Behave, the game where you show that you're ready to come back to Hamlin Village and behave like a proper decent citizen. What the hell? I passed the test. Oh, for heaven's sake, I'm not going to do this again. How do I get out of here? Are you ready to behave now? Our five guest questioners are going to ask you one question each. All you have to do is show us that you understand how to behave yourself in Wellington Wells. <laughs> Mr. Cashier, what question do you have for our prodigal son or daughter? If you want to fit in, you should. A. Say hello to everyone you meet, like what you do. B. Visit people's houses, whether they're there or not. C. The eyes! The eyes! Sweet dreams, Arthur. May I express my delight that you passed the examination, sir? We've not had as many as we'd hoped, sir. Not as many at all. And yet, they say the unexamined life is not worth living. Well, sir, welcome back. Oh, and in case your rustication has been of long duration, 
please bear in mind there is now a nocturnal curfew. Best be indoors after nightfall, sir. If I want him to bugger off, I bet a nice bottle of scotch would help. Thanks. Did you hear? We've caught Foggy Jack. And that a relief. So from here, I've got to get to St. George's home and then into the parade. They said that I need a letter of transit to get into the parade. Like the one I left on my desk in the parade. How do I get a new one? Wait. The old government printing office was on Maiden Home. Maybe I can break in and steal some blanks. Lovely day for it. Do you remember when we used to swim in the river? I don't. Lovely weather. Don't you just love the smell of motoline? It's so <laughs> so modern. All right. Right as rain. Right as rain. Lovely day for it. I hope the baker comes back from holiday soon. Lovely day for it. I learned a new patty cake routine. Do you want to All right. try it? You know, I think someone's looking for you. Lovely day for it. I'm so looking forward to the Battle of Flowers, aren't you? Lovely weather. We must catch up sometime. Lovely day for it. I'm going to take Banzai lessons. You should come to Friends, wellies, countrymen, lend me your ears. Couldn't be better, thanks. I saw a spanker spank a downer just now. It was so jolly. Should clear up soon, I imagine. You flirt. There you are. They say you see the oddest shadows in the street at night. I never look. Lovely day for it. Do you remember when we used to swim in the river? I don't. Lovely day for it. Did you hear? Mrs. Sapper found a bomb in her garden. Good luck. Lovely weather. I've got a new compliment machine. It's so Looking good. Well, look at you. Oh, Lovely day for it. Did you hear about Gustavo Rossetti's wife's cake? All right. I can't wait to see how they fixed up Lud's home. Should clear up soon, I imagine. Right, oh. You are. They say you see the oddest shadows in the street. Ah! Couldn't be better, thanks. You know, I think we wear the same size.
Should clear up soon, I imagine. Don't you just love the smell of mottoline? It's so modern. All right. Did you hear? The circus is coming to town. Lovely day for it. You flirt. Lovely day for it. Did Looks like hear? the old printing They've office is pretty well job. buttoned up. Isn't that a I wonder if there's a way in the bag. Lovely weather. Right as rain. Right as rain. Lovely day for it. I saw a spanker spanker down at just now. Lovely day for it. Did you hear? Mrs. Sapper found a bottle in her Couldn't be better, thanks. You flirt. You know what? <laughs> Never mind. Next week? Arthur? Arthur Hastings! Lovely day for it. Don't you lovely day for it, me, you idiot? It's me! Sally! Oh, I knew it was you. I mean, the glasses, the hair, the really adorable jacket. Don't ask me how, you're not that awkward little boy anymore, are you? But the way you walk, it's, it's like the mask isn't even there. I just, I just knew. There's Arthur! Sally? You look... fantastic. This ancient thing. I've had it two weeks. I'm out of my mind with boredom. Green and white checked. Your dress, the last time I saw you. Running out the door. <laughs> oh, that horrible gingham dress. Oh, God, that takes you back. <sighs> You're off your joy. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Oh, you have little fucking faith. I'm not going to turn you in. Whatever possesses you to go off your joy? <sighs> I see. Oh, God. I saw a picture of him. I promised I'd look after him in Germany. I have to go and find him. How are you going to get out? Do you even have a letter of transit? Absolutely. On my desk in the city. <laughs> Good Christ. Just tell the policeman that. I'm sure they'll wave your right on through. Yeah. Haven't figured that bit out yet. I'm very close with General Bing. Of course you are. No. You always did have a knack for making helpful new friends. I mean, I could go see him and ask him to give you a letter of transit. Don't put the general out on my account. I'm sure you've only so many favours you can ask of him. My God. You still hate me, don't you? Yeah, well, I've only been wondering for the past 14 years. We were 16! How could you? Because I liked him. Because he had that adorable beard. I don't know. There isn't a reason for everything. You're the last bloody person who should be off his joy. I can't believe you are. Believe me. Take enough stuff. Look. Some downer broke into my lab last week. Literally tore the bars off the windows. And the ridiculous thing is I forgot to lock the front door. The point is... It's a horrible, terrible world out there. I just don't see you smashing your way into the city without a great deal of help. Oh, no. Not me. I'm living on the King's Road right now. Of course you are. I couldn't exactly have stayed there, could I? Like, nothing happened. <sighs> Look. I'm sorry. 
This isn't what I meant to... Maybe we could help each other. Maybe I could come by when I'm feeling... better? Brilliant. You ass. How about going to the King's Road, knocking on her door and apologizing grievously? And asking nicely for a letter of transit. She knows General Bing. Damn it, lads! She's Scarper! Oh! But what have we here? A friend of Miss Boyle's, innit? Funny! You don't seem all high and mighty. Perhaps we can express our feelings about Miss Boyle to her friend. Stop he did bringing it. me down! Oh, no, Chop! Oh. <sighs> 